What's up you guys? Today we are at a new vlog. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Come Shop With Me, Come See New Contemporary Handbags that are in the market. We are going to Memorial City Mall here in Houston. Um, this will probably be my last time at this mall for probably until, I don't know, sometime next year. Because I'll probably, no actually I'll be in Houston at the end of the month in December hopefully, if not in January. Because I do plan on getting another lip filler. I know, I know, I'm going to get a lot of questions about it. I'll do, I'll answer that in another video, but I do kind of want another one soon. I'll probably be back then. Uh, if you guys think of this video, hit the subscribe button. I'm doing Vlogmas from, I don't know, from Monday all the way to the 31st. So it's a lot of changes, but I would really appreciate it if you guys would support the channel. So I just went to Dunkin' Donuts, Cahuacha Gasolina, the pumpkin spice latte. I like it. I was going to get like one of the gingerbread ones, but those ones have like a thousand calories that I really don't want to consume. This one has about three or four, which is fine. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go to Memorial City Mall. I love my outfit today. Um, this is the button up that I bought from the outlets, which is the last vlog that should be out. Definitely starting to feel like Christmas. These are so cute. Barbie movie, sixty dollars. I kind of like these, but I saw some Tokivas, Tokivas, those boots, the ones they have a store in North Park. Um, all right, but they have like a wooden, like a brown sole. But those are cute. But those Western boots are really popular. And then like the traditional boots that people usually have, like those right there. It's like kind of hot. Because people are off for the week. These are really cute. These are $70. Oh, look. They have these silver ones, too. These are $250. Oh, the sole on this is really pretty. Oh, they have these. I haven't seen these in person. The Leia's and the shiny ones. So they have them look in this patent leather. They look like they hurt, honestly. But what's that? 195 See, because they have like the regular ones, or the pattern ones. Yeah, I feel like boots like these, like that are on this table, are not really like the most popular styles of boots. I think more like those are a little bit more popular in a sense. That's just my opinion. And then they have some Michael Kors for half. These are ninety nine. These are ninety nine as well. They have some holiday ones. These snake skin. I think snake skin is back. I feel like it wasn't popular for a little bit, but I've been seeing a lot of brands do with their snake skin style. And they have the matching shoe with this metal detail. And the shoes are 135. Oh, this fluffy one is cute. This like Shirley one. That is cute, cute. And then they have this Sherling toe that looks reversible. And then the Sherling Fanny Pack. Oh, these are cute. I think this is my favorite Michael Kors bag that I've seen all year. Yeah, those are cute. And these smaller styles. But I do like kind of like this interlocking mono And these ones. They have like this sparkly one too. And then they have these little baby ones. That look like a little luggage trunk. I think these are cute. I also like these. And they're heavy too. They have a nice weight to them. I probably would take this out, but this is cute. I think this is super, super cute. And then they have the Aster, which is my, I like that puffy one, but I love this one. Like my favorite, my cords bag on this floor is probably this suede Aster bag. I think it is so pretty because it's a re-edition and I think it, it goes with the style right now. And that chocolate bar one is really pretty too. And then they have those like lunch bags. Um, or like these little uh, briefcase bags and the cream. And then they have it in the brown. But I think that they're so adorable. I think that they're so, so cute. I like ones are cute too. Like, like I said, they're like those, but I like to believe they're back in the and they have them in a the backpack style. And then these crystal ones, which I like, are 278. I think that's a decent price. 
and they have this like fuzzy one. This is kind of reminds me of like a Jimmy Choo Crunch, but they have a lot on sale. And then they have some Coach 25. They do have the Coach Cassie 25. They have a few of them that are 25% off. Like these are 25% off. I'm gonna link these because I've never seen these go on sale. And I also like these ones. That top color is really pretty. It looks like it, it matches with everything. $3.95. It's so adorable. Super cute. And they have more 20% styles. These are like bigger baguettes. $3.95, so they'll be um, $100 off. So they'll be like $2.90, like $3.25 with tax. $3.28. And I love the incorporation of the C detail on there. And they have a little bit more. They have this little backpack. I like how slim these fanny packs are. Certain fanny packs would be kind of chunky. This looks like it could be unisex too. One ninety five, so one fifty, and it has a little dog tongue. Yeah, they have like a lot of fun styles on sale. All these little cute bucket styles. I just don't like how open they are, but I do like that they have feet at the bottom. They're very very open. Yeah, they have a lot of them. The white ones. These ones are also the heart bag is twenty five percent off. That's what I'm gonna do a Black Friday handbag video. And I saw that this one was. Oh, it's so pretty. Three fifty. So pretty. Like puffy, cute. I think I want to get this one for Black Friday. I like these, but these scratch easily. A little gloves, hand leather. I think these are a little too trendy. This is like the perfect amount of classy for me, but still somewhat trendy because it's a heart bag. What do you guys think? I think it's so pretty. And I think it's a perfect size too. And then they have some Rebecca Minkoff, which I haven't seen here before. So they have like the love, they have the bigger one, the smaller one. I love Rebecca Minkoff. I like all the little details on there, the different hardware. This one's a little too hardware-y for me. But I do love all this. It's very holiday, but still a surface sense in a way. I like the mixed metals. But I can't believe a lot of them are 20% off. I like this bag. This bag reminds me of a bag that the row would come out with. Which is very cute, very dainty, still fits a lot. $400, gloves, hand leather. Super cute. And I like the original dog tongue, if you can see on it. It's the preciosa. And these little interlocking ones and these greens and they have a little green style too these crystal ones are cute too this looks like a little cute i like the little chevron but i don't think chevron is back in quite yet but that crystal one with the Chevron, I do like. And they have like a lot of 50 Carl ones. Styles, they definitely have a lot of bags on sale, like a lot of racks. This is person, they're too familiar Peluche for me. And then they have, um, yeah, they have a lot, a lot of bags on sale. Some Ralph Lauren's, I haven't seen this one. This is very cute, it's 325. And I love the little tag on it. Very what you call all money style. And there's nothing like looking the bags in person. That's why I do these vlogs because I like to see the bags in person. I really don't, I'm not in the use of habit recommending things that I haven't seen in person. I like to actually look at the items in person, uh, especially in, like I live in big cities. So I have the access to like go to the Gorilla Boutique, I have access to go to Macy's and stuff like that, so Nordstrom, Neiman's. Uh, I do want to go to the Scaparelli Boutique once I'm back in Dallas because they, there's a Scaparelli uh, Boutique in Neiman Marcus. I really, really want to check it out. I really want to see a lot of the bags. Um, I like these because it has a little padlock on it, so there's secret. I have a lot of secrets. This is a padlock to unlock the secrets. You get it? Very easy storytelling. Brown. I like this, but this green one just screams fall, and I love the chocolate uh, leather. One thing that I noticed, I don't really see a lot of Brahmin bags go on sale. Um, if you guys are Brahmin enthusiasts, do they ever go on sale? So this is like the makeup bag, the vanity bag that I got for my birthday. I love it. 
But I never see any of the Brahmin bags ever go on sale. If they go on sale, I'd love to know when or how they go on promotion. I've been to the outlet in San Marcos, but the discounts are very minimal. Are they one of the brands that I don't really discount a lot? So for all my Brahmin girls, I want to hear that. Or my Brahmin women, men, whatever. I want to hear it down below because I never really... Oh, actually, I lied. There are a table full of sale. But see, these are all locked up and the other ones aren't. But they're 30% off. I guess I was wrong. But I never really see them on sale at Dillard's either. It's very rare that I see them. The blue one's really pretty with denim. But I, I kind of like... Like I said, I'm not a fan of the brown. I just like the classic black and Brahmin. The black with the gold. I think that they're so cute. If I were to get another Brahmin other than the vanity, online they have like really cute ones like these, but like in another color. Online they actually have a lot more styles. They're a little bit more updated. I feel like the department shows maybe takes a little bit while for them to get them. Because I noticed that they have more updated style. Yeah, they just have a lot of sale. $80. Oh, I remember talking about these in a video before. A hundred bucks. These PVC ones, 116. Yeah, they have like a lot of sale. Oh, this Kate Spade one too, I do remember. The Emilio Pucci looking one. 97. This is a good nylon material. These are so cute. They do feel a little chaffa, I'm not gonna lie, but they are really cute. Very trend-based. These are on sale, I remember trying this on. 90. Cute. These are cute, but this is kind of like my Kate top. And they, don't, they only have these in bigger sizes. They have these button-ups. For 45 but then they have the blue one for 20 which I, i'm gonna try on you know i'm dressed like this nowadays oh these are cute this is cute i don't like the little embellishment detail but it's cute without it here for it i think that's so cute this is a mini this truly is a mini skirt and some of these sheer tops are very popular you know, Skims came out with the Swarovski collab. I don't know if the Houston Gallery actually got it, believe it or not. I was asking my friend that works there. He said they got it, but everything sold out. These are so cute. This is like a wearable version of like the Miu Miu Panty. I know Maj came out with one too, but this is like a short that you can wear underneath with everything. So I'm doing a voiceover here just because I don't want to get copywritten, but this is the blue top. It's on sale for like 20 bucks. I'm wearing it with this co sweater that I bought from TJ Maxx last year and some other jeans. This was definitely, yes, I did end up buying it um, just because I do like the cinched in. This one is a Kate top dupe or alternative. I already have a sweater ribbed one, so I felt like I didn't really need this. And it's also a size too big. Now these hot shorts, I do think I'm going to go back and get them. Now, no tengo culo, no tengo nada atrás, pero I like that it's very cute. I can show legs, but I definitely would wear them with tights for New Year's. So if you see me in a cat suit with these over, uh, you definitely know where I got them from. So I did get the blue button up. It's literally like the perfect one from the one that I bought yesterday. I wanted a blue button up. I wanted the uh, Mika Anina being one, but I wanted to see if I was actually gonna use it. So I was like, you know what, 20 bucks is not bad. Cause the way I'm just gonna wear it with literally jumpers. Cause this is kind of like my new uniform. Like I said, I used to wear blazers and bodies, which I still do, but button ups and jumpers are kind of like my fall uniform, probably for the, like the next two, until like February, I believe. So I really like it. I'll style it when I get home, but I'll be leaving this link down below as well. I like this baguette style, it's super cute. And they have the fanny pack. Yeah, Dillard's definitely has like the better one. I'll go for like the cute speed. Four twenty eight. And then brown with leather with the chain. This popcorn one is really pretty. They look like little pearls. 
558. And that's how you open the bag. It's very weighty though, but very Judith Lieber. I mean, but they've been doing bags like this for a long time. And this little elephant looking one too. And then they do have like wearable crystal bags. See, I don't like how they're kind of holographic. I wish they were more clear crystal. 348 satin. I wish they were not as holographic. I wish they were like clear crystal, like silver. You see how they, I feel like the holographic, like this makes it look cheap. And I don't use that word very lightly. I don't even like to use the word cheap or corriente, but if this would have been silver, I think it would have looked a lot better. Or use gold stones. I think the holographically one makes it look a little bit more inexpensive. And I know I'm not the only one that thinks that too. I like this incorporation. And they have a Shirley one up there too. And then like an animal print. Oh, they have more. See how much is the rainbow bag? 195. Yeah, I might try to pay a little bit more and get the coach one. They do have a vanity one. Just 315. Oh look, that is cute. That is super cute. Yeah, they have more of these heart bags here. A black one, a velvet one. That one is cute too. They have these crystal ones, which I think is. So I do like these crystal ones. But I'm just hoping that they wouldn't fall off. That one. Kurt has come out a long way. I remember when Kurt first started in the States when we first carried it on Nordstrom. I remember doing the truck for it. Very Fendiography. And these little mini bags. A little mini hard one. So cute. And then these crystal ones too. These little baby ones. Oh, these little baby speedy looking bags. Oh, these are so adorable. So cute. And more has a lot of stores. It has like Loxaton, it has Athleta. I don't think Athleta was here before. I do prefer this Sephora a lot more because it's a little bit more of a higher ceiling too than the one at the gallery. Yeah. That line at Starbucks go. I want to see if they have anything cute. This one is already calling my name. Not this, but this. Oh no, they're a little too studied, but this is so cute. It's like the perfect amount of edginess because the studs are not too big on them. I guess my Varnica beer blazer is in style because they, they have like their version of the Dickie. But just this one's just not removable. I've been wanting a vest for the longest. I don't like how it goes like that. Pero I feel like it's better school. Mesero. I feel like I look like a waiter. I wish it was more like that. See, I like the black one, but I just don't like this ruching. It's a little too feminine for me. I don't like the ruching. I put my jumper in my handbag because. I want to be able to try things on. This is a really pretty gray sweater. Very classy gray sweater. These are very Alice and Olivia Cinca Set. Very Cinca Set style. Oh, they have like another one of these sweaters. You know, Totem was the first one. These ones are 50 bucks. And then they have this, which I actually really love the color of this. And this is 35. The color of this is so pretty. Like, it's the perfect shade of gray. It was probably made out of acrylic, but it's super pretty. And then they have a classic vest. They have a black one and then a gray one. They have that gray. 
I kind of like the black one, but I also like the gray one too. These are a little too cropped because the denim hit, so it would show a bunch of skin. But it's stuck cute. So that will go the same one for the gray one. But the, that with the gray will look really pretty. This is cute too. Definitely need a size larger. But this is so bonito. We're at TJ Maxx. She's into a ver que tienen de volada. And then um, I'm going to show you how to style this shirt when we get back home. Oh my god, they have a boner and then Volker and then Love Shack Fancy. Cute, it's like a sweater dress for $150. And there's newly no Lothan. Mm -hmm. We have this long shot bag for two good wine, a baby set du jour for two. And then a little white cell, this Fendi wallet, and then this Fendi toe, a peekaboo. I did find some toe 10 denim that I'm gonna try it on. Let's see how it fits. And then there are some like newer style. There's some Kate's, there's a Lulu, a Sunset. Um, 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 there's not really a lot. Actually, in runway, there's actually not a lot of things. This Patreon is cute though, but honestly, there's not a lot of variety today. I feel like when I was here two weeks ago, I felt like I found a little bit more things to be honest. That's my season. designer shoes today just some steward and some poultry there's like a huge line that I don't want to wait to make it out on fiddle and that line like 30 minutes so I went back home I saved my size but like the beard was kind of bothering me and I got a haircut and my brows tomorrow but right now, my friend is coming back from town. He was in Ohio for the longest. And he's back. So they're doing some little surprise things. So I'm excited to come here. I'll give you all the details in a second. But let me go to the concierge real quick. Mason. He has a little, uh, what's it called? Simpsons donut. Yeah. Like. Mason. <laughs> so wait, 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 what was I supposed to say? Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, it says welcome block. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your damn oh, accent, my. bitch. <laughs> the lady was there. Not even because I wrote it down. Black. Welcome black ho. I wrote it down. I black was like, <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm dead. Take off the L. <laughs> Technically, you can take it off. Listen. He does not like the balloon. Welcome back! Oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh I missed y'all bitches. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> That's what y'all bitch said y'all like it, so I was looking at her, y'all was like, where the hell is that? Hey, What's up, y'all? Hi! How about you, bitch? Cute! Guess! Bert, don't mess it up. 
Oh, that's cute. Ah. Welcome back home. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold up. We should have kept one in a race. We should. We should. Yeah, should. Is that good? No. Is it? Pop it. No. Ah, I was. <laughs> Watch me hit me in the eye. One by two, break. I'm gonna be a puppet down. I just like their anger. It's a little like that. Yeah. These are so cute. They were so little too. They were like that big. Yeah, and they got super expensive. Everything's expensive. Yeah. Ten bucks for four. I was like, damn. Yeah. Oh, Mason wants one too. Yeah. Cheers. Mason. Cheers. I know, right? Cheers, guys. Say hi. Cheers. Say hi. Say hi, Vanessa. I'm still staying strong. What? say a few things first things first I am in Dallas right now because I'm in the process of moving all my things I still have a few days left in Houston to the end of the month so I don't know when this video is gonna go out um, it should probably go out on Monday and then by the end of the week I should be back in Dallas full-time I came to drop off some of like my, my expensive things that I don't want to put like in a U-Haul or anything like that I've been so stressed out, like I have been breaking out, and you guys know I'm never the one to break out. If you watch my videos, I usually have perfect skin, but honestly, this Black Friday tore me up. Um, moving, going into this new job, I changed my phone number, like I have had literally such a 180 and like such a fast time. Because I, like, once I get back, I'm already starting the other job. So, I know, like, literally in chinga, 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 chinga. And then I'm also doing Vlogmas. And then I have to do social media things. So, I am literally consistently busy. So, I feel like that's why I'm getting a little stressed out. I did get a haircut. Make it then one inch. I need to style it. Uh, I did take, like, an inch off or, like, an inch and a half. So, my skin looks, I mean, it looks good. But I definitely need to, like, cover it up because I'm definitely breaking out. And then, um, uh, I did want to get asked, because then I'm going to get asked this as well, um, like, at, towards, like, the end of the video, like, oh, like, when we are at Ojos, I, right now, I'm not necessarily drinking, and that's a whole other video that I do want to make, but right now, I'm like, I don't know what day it is, is it, like, it's, like, four weeks today, basically, today's four weeks since I started drinking, I stopped drinking, like, the Sunday of, like, Halloween weekend, and I was like, you know what, I want to go a month without necessarily drinking. But now I kind of feel like I want to do another month. Or now I kind of want to do like 100 days. And I notice like who your real friends are and who are. And like who includes you in things that do or don't involve alcohol. But it's not even about that. I honestly feel so skinny. A lot of my clothes fit better. I've been so stressed out and I didn't want to like rely on drinking to like relieve me. I definitely wanted to push through because literally the month of December... You're gonna see Vlogmas, Wea, Andar, and Chinga. I'm gonna be working like a dog, like un cachorrito. Like, I'm gonna be busy, busy, busy. I have to move everything and blah, 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 blah. I did get the blue button up. I have wore it out. Um, but yeah, right now I'm in Dallas, so I'm here for a few more days. Uh, I will be vlogging starting today. Like, I've already started vlogging for Vlogmas. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's been a really successful month. Because it'll probably be my last vlog for November. Because I think I'll just do sit down videos until December 1st. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my channel. Um, I'm definitely trying to make a comeback. I don't know. Am I? Am I not? No sé. Uh, I am. So stay tuned make sure you guys follow me on instagram just because i will be revealing my new job 
and the vlogs you're gonna see me leaving my old job and you know with my co-workers and stuff so you'll see that after December 1st but I want to say thank you to each and every single of you that have been watching my videos who have never left my side. I love and I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. It's a little all over the place, but I'm also trying to go back to vlogging. Like, I would always do, like, shopping vlogs, but I'm trying to incorporate, like, my friends and, like, other people so you guys can kind of see me when it's just not myself, if you guys know what I mean. But thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love each and every single one of you. Um, I'm going to be putting, uh, like, the shirt that I bought and those hot shorts and the Coach Cassie linked down below for you guys. Oh, my God. And I'll see you guys on the next video because, oh, my God, right now, I have so much things to do. Bye, guys, and take care.